Welcome. This is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 9th of August, 2024. We're Office Hours Asia. Uh, topics I've got, Contributor Spotlight, uh, Jenkins Releases Today, Retiring the Chinese Documentation Site, and a Community Site, a Chinese Community Site that I just discovered. Uh, and I'm curious about it. So Chris, I would love to have your help reading the site and interpreting it just because my use of Google Translate is fine, except that I don't entirely trust it. Okay. Uh, and then I had a case study for simplifying plugin maintenance, but we'll wait on that for a week because the people who are interested in it won't be attending until next week's session. Any other topics you want to put on the list, Chris? Nope. All right, then let's go ahead. So Contributor Spotlight, uh, Darren Pope's Contributor Spotlight is available now. Darren and I just did a broadcast today. Thanks to Darren. And we published this one just last week. And next week, Alyssa's already got another one in, in the queue and has plans. So... We look forward to more coming. Several additional, yeah, so we got them. Next topic was on Jenkins releases. So Darren Pope and I did a broadcast today on, oops, on, on various Jenkins releases. We look at 2.452.4, a security advisory. And when we look at the security advisory, it's critical. So very important that people who are Jenkins users install and update to this version so that they're not susceptible to this critical security vulnerability. And uh, the broadcast with Darren gave some further description. The details are, are quite, quite carefully phrased here so that people can understand, hey, what's happening and why is this a risk, etc. And then the same thing for the 2.471 weekly release. It also included the security fix. So security fixes were the big story there. And then there were a number of several user experience improvements in addition to the, in addition to the security fix. And uh, there were even some nice, nice performance improvements in a few sort of corner case areas. Uh, <laughs> Gzip compression improved performance. And uh, startup time was reduced by about five seconds with a J JSON fix. So nice improvements. Then Chris, the next one was on the documentation site. So we've got Jenkins.io slash ZH. Oh, nope, nope, slash, let me get it right. It is, you know, that is it, slash ZH slash doc. Somehow it's not redirecting correctly, Chris. There we go, okay. And we'll stay in Chinese simplified. So, so the our Chinese users had created and maintained a separate a Chinese language users had created and maintained a separate Jenkins documentation site translated in Chinese. However, the translation stopped about four years ago. And so my first goal was to double check that the site here does not have correct current installation documentation. So Chris, can you guide me to find the install guide? Um, so we're, uh, let's see. I think it's community. This one, the one you're highlighting, it's community. This is community. Okay, so then is this one maybe documentation? Uh, yep. That's okay. Yeah. And that's probably... Oh. No, that's the okay, overview. No, the uh, uh, documentation should be um. I don't know, it's still, it looks got different from you from my from our side. Well, and and because it's it's certainly very old, and so so no shock there. 
it's like a... no, that was Jira. So it could be the second one. Yeah, this this. Is... Okay, so is this second one down? Oh no, this one is probably the the developer guide. Yep. Okay, so the second one down is the developer guide. So maybe this is installing? Nope. Okay, so this, let's go bigger so we can read it. So it says like uh, there's users guide. Okay, so this is the user guide. Okay, so the user guide, and then in the user guide, I would assume I've got an install guide somewhere here linked on the left. And there is hints on this Java 8. Oh, yeah, it's only a second. Pipeline? That's weird. I see like a, okay, so here's no, this is it's not it's like execution. Yeah, okay, so this is not yeah, and this is pipeline instructions, so that's certainly not install instructions. More pipeline. Huh. Okay, so maybe maybe I'm worrying about something that doesn't that isn't an issue. Do they not have in? Okay, now let's switch to. Um, if you if you go to like the last button, it says download. Uh, don't don't uh, go back to that bar. Yeah, this one it says download. Okay. And here, oh, and it's look at that. It's it's completely out of date. Yep. Okay, so so this already is a is a big red flag, right? So it's offering. Jenkins 2.346.3. This has not been not been generated in so long that it's completely out of date as a as a download page. Okay, good. So you've already helped me capture that this is not a workable um, not a workable translation for users, right? Because it's it's pointing them to the wrong location. Yeah. Okay, good. So I can capture that. And let's just edit, save it really quickly. Okay, so crop it to this. Okay, so this is further further inspiration that the the site in Chinese language is just not helping users. If anything, it's harming them by leading them to the wrong versions. Okay. All right. So now if I put a big rectangle around this, move it down here. Oh, cute. Okay, got it. So this error, my editing skills. Okay, good. Okay, download and export. All right, now I've got a picture. Great, thank you. Okay, thank you, Chris, very, very much. Welcome. All right, so the goal then, and I, I guess I should describe the, the plan here. What we've discussed with Kevin Martins is that uh, the goal is to redirect all the existing Chinese pages, Chinese language pages, to their English equivalent. Okay because the English equivalents are, are maintained, right? So, so the example here, this one, the downloads page should, if we were to duplicate that and just take out the ZH, this is what we get. And it's the, it's the correct and modern Jenkins download page. 
So we think it's a, a rewrite of anything that has slash ZH in the URL to remove the slash, the slash ZH or ZH slash get removes the ZH slash. So that's the theory anyway, and we'll, we'll then need to test it. We're sure. Okay. And Basil Crow has agreed, has offered to, uh, has offered to help with the, uh, with the redirects and, and the Nginx slash Apache mod rewrite uh, fix changes. So we've got his help coming. Great. Chris, was there anything else that you wanted to be sure we discussed today? No. All right. Well, let's call our session done for today. I'll switch off the, the recording. Thanks very much. You're welcome.